The statistics show that veterans are twice as likely to become homeless. And I, I really truly believe that if there's any one factor, it would be the mental health issues that veterans deal with. Some have post-traumatic stress disorder, traumatic brain injury. On our campus, uh, about 60, 65 percent of people that come either have mental health issues, substance abuse issues, or both. There were a lot of organizations that were providing assistance and service to veterans, but there was no coherence to it whatsoever. And Vetlana filled that need. Vetlana was started about three years ago, about 30 men, all veterans, trying to hire veterans in their organizations. And they said, let's come together. We're all trying to do the same thing. It's a way the companies get together that they can join resources instead of five companies doing the same thing and not having as great of an impact. What it's about is making Atlanta the number one destination for veterans, whether they're transitioning or they're thinking of transitioning. I joined the Air Force when I was 17 years old. I served until I was 38. And I was able to get three college degrees while I was in the Air Force and, and a master's degree shortly after that. And I had all this great leadership and management experience, but I've never written a resume. I never did a job interview, right? I didn't know how to sell my skills on the, uh, in the corporate world. And for employment, that's what a lot of veterans face. When uh, I transitioned from the military, it was definitely a tough time to transition and to leave a good career behind. The economy wasn't in the greatest place at the time. What I learned real quickly is that the skills that I had in the military don't necessarily translate exactly to a business environment. In your core, you could still be a soldier, sailor, airman, or Marine. But at the end of the day, you've got to change that a little bit because you've got to assimilate yourself into your new world of the private sector. It can be very difficult for any veteran to really kind of understand how they relate to the civilian world, how their skills can actually provide value to companies. Our biggest success stories on that front was a homeless veteran who was living in his car, very successful in his military career and his civilian career and this had a string of bad decisions and bad luck. I was uh, downrange in Afghanistan for about three and a half years. Came back, uh, had a dream job in Houston, Texas, working in the oil and gas industry. And when the price of oil and gas went down in 2014 and 2015, I ended up losing my job. I have a severe alcoholism, and I also have a bipolar disorder with severe depression. I ended up in the homeless system. With the help of the VA, I was placed at VEO. We found the Veterans Empowerment Organization, and through there, we engaged them with Vetlana. The guy is now living in an apartment and ready to buy a car, a new car. He was living in a car a year ago. Things in my life have uh, dramatically changed. I've been sober now for over 18 months. Uh, I have a great job have great relationships, great friendships, and I'm in a leadership role and position with Vetlana, thanks to Lloyd. Lloyd is driven. He's very focused. When he wants to accomplish something, it will get accomplished. As he is a retired veteran, he knew the changes, the pressures on someone just sort of transitioning anew. So the empathy that he brings to that is also quite spectacular. Don't leave no man behind, and he really represents that making sure that every veteran that come back home got the support in the community. He comes from a long line of veterans. Almost everyone in his family, it seems like, has served in one capacity or another. He was able to take that, a 20-year career in the Air Force, and apply that to a lot of the same principles that were common at UPS. Some of the events when you go there, basically Lloyd will ask, how many people are here from companies that are looking to hire veterans? Please stand up and you'll have 30 individuals stand up. And then he'll ask, how many veterans here are looking for jobs? So please stand up and those veterans will stand up. And then he'll just say, okay, you two start, start talking to each other now. I've heard that veterans were hired directly resulting from them meet. He gives us free time because he'd spent 20 years coaching, mentoring, developing young veterans into good men and women that serve our country, and I think he's seen the talent and the abilities that they brought in the military. 
He fundamentally wants to make a difference, and I think through Vetlanta and some of his other works, it's been a manifestation of that impact that he's made. You can see no better shining example of what it means to be a servant leader and giving back than Lloyd Knight. Congratulations, Lloyd. I'm winning the Jim Casey Community Service Award. You deserve it. You've earned it, and I'm very, very proud of you. I can't think of a more deserving partner here at UPS. Hats off to you.